St. Johan in Tyrol. What a spectacular setting for the hardest timber sports challenge in the world. Welcome to the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2016. Austrian Alps are, it's, it's just magnificent. Like uh, this is one of the best scenery I've seen. Like uh, I haven't been to too many mountains except in Canada and this is some of the nicest scenery I've seen in a long time. So it's pretty impressive, it's very impressive. It's a fantastic view and a fantastic location for, for the competition. I think. Everybody must come here because it's so nice view and you can spend holiday here, I think so. Champions Trophy is uh, about endurance. Everybody knows it, so you have to be real good prepared. Just keep the axe, Just the axe and the, block, the, or the block, or the saw and the block. Nothing Just else really matters. Around 1,300 spectators are getting ready to witness the best timber sports athletes from around the world in action. And this is the trophy that they're all going to be fighting for, the champion's ring. The trophy arrives at the arena, 1,700 meters above sea level. The Champions Trophy is considered as the hardest contest in timber sports as the athletes have to complete four separate disciplines in quick succession. First up, it's the steel stock saw. Using an unmodified standard chainsaw, they have to cut one clean cookie downwards from a 40 centimeter block. The second discipline is the underhand chop. The 28 centimeter horizontally mounted block has to be cut through from both sides with an axe. This is an act requiring balance and precision as well as strength. Then it's on to the single buck. Using a two meter long one man saw, the athletes have to cut a complete cookie from within the marked area off of a 40 centimeter block of wood. The final discipline is the standing block chop. This simulates felling a tree with an axe. Once again, the block must be cut through from both sides. Still Timber Sports, presented by Volkswagen Amarok. Tough comes from within. And still, better garden power tools. Welcome back to St. Johan in Tyrol and the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2016. The best eight national champions now fight it out in this round in a sudden death contest to claim the title. Each heat is a one-on-one -on -one contest where the winner goes through to the next round. First up is Australia's Braden Meyer against Christoph Geisler from Switzerland. Braden Meyer is the hope for Australia's future in timber sports and he is incredibly strong Quick through stock saw, and at 20 years young, he is already a veteran in timber sports. And look at this, he has moved through the underhand chop and is already on the single buck. Meanwhile, Christoph Geisler struggling to get that saw started. Youth definitely the advantage here as the young Australian with a clear advantage. He fells that block in a time of 1.10.35. The winner is Braden Meyer. Get it done. Next up, Marcel Dupuy from Canada and Armin Kugler from Austria. Marcel Dupuy, 30 years old, very, very strong. And you can see here on the underhand chop, he's already moving through quickly. Dupuy now on to the single buck in this quick review of a very fast heat going on. Boy, Kugler coming through strong as well on single buck. There is Dupuy now moving to the standing block. Such a strong... Axeman and Sawyer, and Dupuy does it in 113.42. Meanwhile, Kugler struggling on that standing block in a time of 127.21. Marcel Dupuy. 
So Dupuy goes through to the semi-final. The next heat, Jason Winyard from New Zealand meets Dirk Brown from Germany, two powerhouses. Dirk Brown, seven-time German champion, meeting a legend. Both of them pretty much dead even on that stock saw now to the underhand chop. Starting quickly, though, was Winyard, and he gets through there before Brown does, moving over to his strongest discipline, which is the single buck. Look how smooth Winyard is. Brown, meanwhile, having trouble getting that single buck started, and Winyard moves over to the standing block chop with a clear advantage on this heat here, and he gets it done in 10772. Winyard cruises into the semis. Our winner is Jason Winyard. Next up, an all European duel Absolute. between the Czech Get Martin Komarik and the Frenchman Pierre Puybaré. Both of them off to a great start here on the stock saw. Moving over pretty much in sync to the underhand chop. Puybaré steps off the block. Komarik quick though off of the underhand chop, moves over to the single buck. Puybaré trying to catch up on single buck. He's going to have trouble here against Komarik. Komarek, a solid competitor, Puye Barre, however, very strong, but not strong enough today. Komarek does it in 1-14-14. He moves on to the semifinal as well. And the winner is Martin Komarek. Martin Komarek advancing to the semifinal, defeating Pierre Puy Barre. And here we see semifinal number one will be Meyer and Dupuy. Semifinal two, Winyard and Komarek. The fight for the Champions Trophy continues into the next round right after this break. Still Timber Sports, presented by Volkswagen Amarok. Tough comes from within. And still, better garden power tools. Welcome back to St. Johan in Tirol and the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2016. Hi, my name is Bart Jensen, and we are taking you now on the journey of the production of our competition wood. The wood is the center of attention at the steel timber sports competitions. The goal, good material and fair competition conditions for all our athletes. Here in Belgium, we found 15-year-old industrial poplar trees that perfectly match our needs and will become the base for more than 2,000 logs. The trees should be nearly the same. It's a nature product, so 100% is not possible, but near as possible. Around 250 trees are now lined up measured and examined precisely. Now the wood is loaded and taken to Holland. After their arrival, the trucks are cut into smaller pieces. A log peeler now takes off the bark and scales them down to the right diameter. Again, the blocks are examined carefully for knots or branches, then labeled and one by one wrapped up for their big trip. The logs now travel from Holland to all the competitions in Europe where they are allotted to the athletes who will now, finally, put hands on the wood. And it's gonna be these guys that will now end that journey. In the first of the semi-finals, it's Brayden Meyer from Australia up against the Canadian Marcel Dupuy. Brayden finished third in the last World Championships and Marcel came fifth. Dupuy is the reigning Canadian champion. He's 180 centimeters tall and 109 kilograms. He's a big boy. Watch out everybody, Canada's ready. Up against Braden Meyer, the current Australian champion, who is 188 centimeters tall and 115 kilograms. A bigger boy. I've got the mow and I'm ready to go. Hands on the wood. Get set. Both of these guys are very strong competitors. Dupuy pushing hard on that stock saw to get that first cookie cut. Looks like Meyer got through just slightly ahead, but both of them getting to the underhand chop pretty much dead even. Look at the frequency of Meyer's hits though. He is so quick, already over to the other side. Dupuy trying there to catch up, but Meyer is just incredibly strong and fast, and Meyer is through first, moving over to single buck now. 
A little bit of a struggle on the start, but he's got the flow going on single buck. Dupuis has got some work cut out to catch up with this young 20-year-old man with a lot of experience coming out of Australia. Dupuis, however, he's got that experience and he may well do it. He's got a smooth flow on the single buck. However, Meyer had such a lead and he's already over onto the standing block. Look at this guy go. He is incredible. And that is saying a lot considering we are at altitude of above 1700 meters here. That takes away a lot of power because of lack of oxygen. There you go. Meyer wins it convincingly in 103.21. Good time. Dupuis, meanwhile, a couple more blows should get him through that standing block, but he is nowhere close to Braden Meyer with a 114.66. One more time, Braden Meyer fully concentrated, and you could see that single buck eating its way through the wood and this deciding blow that gets him into the final. And the winner is Braden Meyer. Down hand was good, um, a bit short on wood, but it paid off and it came off easy. I, for sure, I would like it to be faster, but uh, losing against Braden Meyer is not a gen in the world, so uh, I did the best I could. In the next round, we've got two veterans of the sport. Kiwi, Jason Winyard, 42 years old, almost two meters tall, 130 kilograms. On the other side, it's Martin Komarek, 39 years old, 187 centimeters tall and 92 kilograms. Both of these guys, solid competitors. I'm ready for you. Facing Martin Komarek, the seven time world champion. I'm here and ready for the Champions Trophy. Hands on the wood. Get set. Good start by both of these gentlemen who have been around this sport for a long time. Jason Winyard, Martin Kormarek, dead even on stock saw, straight over with a nice clean move by Kormarek to get started on the underhand chop. One swing ahead of Winyard, but Winyard has really quick blows and strong, and he's already onto the other side. Komarek coming around now, finally getting into the mix with him. Winyard, huge last blow there, and he moves quickly over to that single buck. This is Winyard's strongest discipline. Meanwhile, Komarek here looking very good this time around. Man, this is going to be close between these two veterans. Winyard pushing hard. Oh, he gets stuck. Komarek the same. This is super close. And they're both through a slight advantage for Komarek, who starts that standing block chop ahead of Winyard. But Winyard has so much power in his blows. Look at this, already moving to the other side. Komarek, one more blow on his block, and now he moves to the other side. Winyard, slightly ahead of Komarek. Another a couple of blows ought to do it. One more, and Winyard gets it done in 109.35. Komarek needs two extra blows to finish it up, but he finishes in a time of 112. 69, a good time for the check. What an exciting semifinal though, neck and neck all the way to the very last discipline, standing block chop where Winyard hit the turbo button and took the win. Okay, and the winner is Jason Winyard. I'm very glad to make it to the final. I was unfortunate to go up against my good friend Martin and ideal situation would have been Martin and I in the final, but um, he's a great competitor and he's proven that out on the stage. He's I'm anyway happy losing with Jason, it's, it's good, so this is, he's the best in the world. The finalists are waiting to carry on this epic contest and lay claim to this awesome title and we'll see it all right after the break. Steel Timber Sports presented by Volkswagen Amarok. Tough comes from within and still. Better Garden Power Tools. Welcome back to the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy in St. Johan in Tyrol. Martin Komarek and Marcel Dupuis take the stage once more to fight for third place in the small final. Dupuis, who's 30 years old, led his team to a second place in the team championship in 2014. He meets the experienced Czech Martin Komarek, who took second place in the singles back in 2014. Hands on the wood, get set. Good clean start by both competitors and the fight for bronze is on. 
Stock saw, Comerick gets through first, saw is down, headset's down, and he is on to the underhand chop. A quick stick, and Marcel Dupuis has made a catch. Oh, and a slip by Comerick. That's going to cost him. Could be an opportunity for Dupuis to take over and take the bronze from the veteran. Dupuis is on the other side. Looks like he's got a couple more blows to get through, and he is. He moves on to the single buck. That saw sticks again a little bit for Dupuis, but he's got a good flow going now. Once started, he can keep it going nicely. Komarek, he is now on that single buck, moving a little bit slower than the younger Dupuis, however. Dupuis has that cookie cut, and now he moves over to standing block. A couple of catches for Komarek puts him a little bit behind and at a disadvantage to Dupuis. Dupuis hammering away at that standing block chop. He is looking very good here right now. May well take the bronze, but it's not over till it's over. Dupuis on the other side of the standing block. Komarek trying his hardest to catch up to the Canadian. Will he do it? No, he's not going to do it. The block falls at 107.84. Komarek struggling to get those final cuts through and get that block off the top. It is just not happening. Hey, there it goes. 118.15 for the check. The bronze goes to Dupuis. Once again in the slow-mo, Dupuis on the stock saw, pulling away on the underhand, then increases his lead on the single buck. Finally winning in style with a 10-second lead. And the winner is Marcel Dupuis. Yeah, I don't know how Martin raised, but I know mine was real good wood. It, it slabbed out like I wanted to, and everything was perfect. I'm tickled to death. Now for the battle of the Giants. Although these two athletes are very different, their goal is the same. So I uh, prepared with setting up uh, bigger logs that we cut here and uh, cut them right through at home and do the the format. Um, my goal for the Champions Trophy is to try to make it to the final and um, hopefully win the final. Last year at the Champions Trophy in Florence, Jason just missed achieving that same goal. It still hurts thinking about the competition last year. Um, sometimes things go this way in sport and uh, timber sports is no difference. I, I never like not to win. It's, um, something inside of me that will never change I think but uh, I think sometimes when you don't do as well you've got to take the best out of a bad situation and, and try to move forward and um, hopefully it motivates you to, to do better the next time. In Florence he was facing another Australian Brad DeLosa and in a nail-biting heat lost by less than a tenth of a second even less than the blink of an eye. Sometimes you can have the luck, it, it might have been me advancing to the final um, when I went against Brad, but um, he was uh, on the right side of it, so I think it was a great event still. I, I think we both put up a pretty good cut together. But now, he's looking forward. Yeah, I think uh, Braden has been chopping really strongly, so I, I expect him to put, um, put a good performance in. He's, he's young, he's 20 years old, so he's... Um, probably rearing to go and uh, looking forward to, to competing. After World Championships, I've actually won two world titles back in Australia, um, and Jason was in them events. Um, I beat him quite comfortably, so um, I think I've got a bit of advantage there. And Yeah, the single buck's always hard. Um, Jason's the world's best at that. Um, I've got a bit of a plan, so hopefully that works, and um, we'll see how, see how we go. So here we go with the title fight between the young newcomer and the living legend. You gotta beat the man, and hopefully I'm up to that. Braden Meyer, pretty confident, but can he really defeat the seven time world champion? Both guys are up on stage, warming up their saws and checking everything out one last time before this mega showdown begins. Hands on the work. Get set. Good even start by both of these guys, and it's looking fairly even through the stock saw. Wow, those discs fell pretty much in sync with each other. And now, Braden Meyer and Jason Winyard on the underhand chop. The speed at which Meyer cuts, though, is incredible. The frequency of his blows is the difference maker here. And it looks like Meyer is going to get through this underhand chop before Winyard does. And he has a big advantage now, moving to that single buck. 
We know that the single buck is Jason Winyard's premier discipline, so he may well catch up to Meyer right here. Meyer had a quick catch with his saw, and look at Winyard. Wow, is that log made of butter or what? How quick is this man on the single buck? He is through and now moves over to the standing block chop pretty much at the same time as Braden Meyer. Meyer with those frequent hits on the block moves to the other side. He's got this one pretty much well in hand, but Jason Winyard is not far behind. This is gonna be a close battle. It's gonna come down to the last couple of blows. Who's it gonna be, Winyard or Meyer? Meyer or Winyard? Here we go, oh! It's Meyer with a time of 107.89. The young gun from down under does it and dethrones the king. Less than a second later, Winyard's block fell, but once again, the champion's trophy has eluded him and the look of determination on Braden Meyer's face says it all. Braden Meyer from Australia wins the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2016. Great guy to get along with. He comes from a top family of woodchoppers in Australia. And I think they, they brought him up right. He's very respectful. He's very confident as an axeman, and he's, he's got some talent. Big words there and big compliments from a big man. For Jason Winyard, he's the seven time world champion and uh, a great mate of mine, um, I've watched him grow up. Really, Jason should have beaten me. I had a few jags in the sawing and the stand block log split, so, but it doesn't matter now. I've got the, the beautiful ring here and the beautiful watch, so what more can you ask for? New Zealand's Jason Winyard and Canada's Marcel Dupuis round off the podium and help celebrate the victory of Braden Meyer. He will take the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2016 back to Australia. Thank you, Austria, and thank you, Steel Timber Sports. With that, we say farewell from beautiful St. Johan in Tyrol and the Champions Trophy 2016. Be sure to tune in next time for more Steel Timber Sports action.